Hey guys, we do the unboxing of this Alienware M14X R2 version, and this is the 2013 model. Finally got enough money to get this thing customized for myself. So it comes in very nice package with the um, this one on the menu. It's very nice and neat envelope. We'll take a look inside later. And right here on the side we have this box. I assume it's gonna be the chargers, the AC adapter, and all that stuff. Yep, I was right. So yeah. Okay, like I expected, um, this is one of the cable. And so this guy right here is the power brick. Well, and you know, as you can see, it, it do look like one of those Dell laptop power brick because since 2006, Alienware became part of Dell Corporation because they want to go big with their, uh, you know, supply chain. So they finally joined with the uh, Dell Corporation, but they still continue with their design, brand names, and technology, and blah, 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 but they, they do have some Dell influences, you know, to now. Anyway, so the, the laptop came in, uh, in a nice soft material fabric uh, bag, which I can see clearly that they, they want to preserve this laptop. And this thing just weighs quite heavy, guys, to be honest about seven pounds anyway let's take a look at the design around here real quick it is a black edition with a soft touch finish it's a very nice looking laptop pretty much all the M14 X shell one physical design with a 91 card reader two audio output one microphone MIDI display port HDMI VGA and USB 2.0 and 3.0 with a nice finished glass monitor and a built-in 1.3 webcam on the top and on this side we have the slot uh, DVD drive up or you know an option with a Blu-ray uh, drive which I didn't have one and that's the Ethernet with another 2 3.0 USB port and on the back we have this is the one of the power um, you know adapter that you know where the power goes in and that's one of the fan for a cooling system on the bottom there's a metal plate where you declare your ownership of this laptop and there's a fan on your left side for the cooling system with the battery indicator on the top uh, because the battery is internal and this is the envelope that I mentioned about uh, earlier uh, I assume there's a DVD and some uh, paperwork inside yep let me take a look oh, okay warranty uh, startup guide uh, of the alien and also, this is the resources DVD, uh, you know, for backup. So this is really my very first Alienware ever, and I'm very impressed with the build quality and the soft touch uh, design. Um, and this kind of go wrong, guys. Uh, really, I just want a badass laptop, and I don't want to spend money on something that people already walk around with them like the MacBook Pro or something else uh, or Sony Vio so instead I, I put money into this one with the i7 third generation and there are specs down below if you guys want to check them out uh, I'm gonna turn this things on and uh, let's get some startup with the uh, amazing laptop right now I'm on the Alienware uh, control center where you can customize your LED display with different modes and it's very self-explanatory and this laptop does run on Windows 8 Pro which I do prefer Windows 7 better because Windows 8 generally you know originally designed for tablets here I'm just gonna show you how the LED display in the dark looks pretty cool right like those Star Trek movie anyway let me know what you guys think down below and don't forget to check out my other videos also thanks guys